So listening fam, while we were out, we had a caller call in and he wanted to know, what did he ask you? Oh, do you specialize in certain types of coffees? And from there, we kind of went down a rabbit trail about that. So I do think it's worth uh, sharing a bit about how Three Keys came to that that but then as we were talking we came to a key lesson learned yes, right we did um i mean the best things are so organic mm -hmm. they just, <laughs> you know, right they just happen can't really script and, and come up with things but yes when um you know hearing that question about you know where we where we source from what types right. of coffees um you know we source from all over our biggest thing is the quality but I was mm -hmm. sharing that um, the unique message we wanted to tell through our coffee was um, to uh, wanting to create this multi-sensory experience through music. Mm -hmm. And so the name of the company comes from the valves of the trumpet, which my husband played for many years. We have um, QR codes on our packaging that you can scan that takes you to the curated mm -hmm. playlist. I think that's so super. Like when yes. people pair with wine, y'all <laughs> exactly. pair with music. Yes. That's so great. Yes. Um, as a way to create this more approachable experience. But um, I was sharing that really it was because this was a passion project. We, we wanted to um, pour ourselves in our own personal interests, yes. which were music, my husband and I um, sharing in that. And, so it's never really about becoming a company, a, no. a, a coffee company from no. the onset. Yes. No, we. My husband is a is an engineer mm -hmm. um, in the oil and gas industry. Yeah. Um, I have been working in the banking industry. Oh, that is so far Those from were coffee. Our career. <laughs> <laughs> okay, somebody needs to take that note real quick. Like, you got an engineer and a banker, and somehow we get to brewing coffee. And but the coffee is where the music. The music is where well, music and coffee. I guess you right, care about both. Right. Yeah. Is where the true passion was mm -hmm. right and so yeah. we, we merged those together into something that we thought would be you know some farmers markets on the weekend mm -hmm. something that we can do and share with our kids mm -hmm. a, a hobby a passion mm -hmm. project mm -hmm. and to see how far we've come and how quickly it really lets us know that you know what we're doing is really resonating with a lot of yes. people it has the potential to have much greater impact yes than um than we thought I remember having an early conversation with a buyer at Target, mm -hmm. um, and uh, it, we were it was way too small, but he was interested. He was even <laughs> then. Even then, uh -huh. and I said, I was like, you know, I don't know. I mean, I we we ha yes, we have this company, but I just don't know, you know, how far you know we really want to take it like that yes. big. And he's like, I feel like I'm listening to you talk about this gifted child that yes. you have that you're just content like letting play yeah. in the sandbox. Yes. Like, oh, I'm not really gonna let that yes. child, you know, go yes. and do more. I'm yes. okay with it. Yeah. And, and, and that really spoke to me. That yes. was a really big turning point for me yes. to realize that, okay, maybe there is something more that we can, can explore do. here. Yeah. And yeah. It's fantastic. Like, that was a great uh, question. So we're so glad that the caller called in. Thank you, Jehovah. <laughs> um, but anywho, it's, it's like this idea that it's it's passion. So if mm -hmm. there was any if there was any lesson from that what you were saying behind the scenes was if you're trying to if you're trying to chase something for cash, like that's just not Right. Yeah. This, this is not ha, be, going into a business is not a fake it till you make it type no. of thing. No. People will see through it. Yes. It will become revealed and and I think that um, when you commit to something, you, it's really got to be something that is core to you because being an entrepreneur being a business owner, leading a team, it is very taxing. It takes mm -hmm. a toll. And at mm -hmm. the end of the day, we have to keep being able to to, to remind ourselves, well, why am I doing this? Yes. I, I love I love what I'm doing. I love this messaging. I love um, you know everything about that. And so that's where you know going back to the passion. You have to yes. that's that's nurtured and fostered from the passion. Yes. <laughs> You know, not for just the, the idea of the profit and the, yes. yeah. Yes. I was going to ask then, so one, if I had a t-shirt, it would say passion with that line over profit oh, any day, yes. right? That's but then question. what would be some tangible um, ways that you would, you or things that you would have someone reflect on, particularly as we said earlier, we're right here at the end of the year. Some people may be trying to determine, should I go forward? Should I let this thing go? I've tried to tell people something being hard doesn't necessarily mean you let it go. Mm -hmm. But for some people, it being hard means that's a closed door, right? right like it just depends. Right. So what would you, what would, how would you help somebody really identify, is this a passion thing for you or is this a private, a, a profit chaser Ooh, for you? That's a good like one. Like how do I really know if this is my passion or if this was right. really about money? Right. Mm -hmm. I think that um, it might sound a little cliche, but mm -hmm. it's like, you know, would I do this if I wasn't being compensated? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And I, a lot of people are surprised to hear this, but... 
I have not paid myself from Three Keys Coffee mm -hmm. yet. Mm -hmm. um, and now I, I plan to start doing that. I've actually yes. just recently decided to commit 100% to the mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. So I've left my past professional world. But, mm -hmm. you know, it, not being paid for four yes. years. Can you, <laughs> yeah. can you, can, will, you, will you be willing to, yeah. to, to go through that? Um, and, and then I would say, what do you find yourself doing in your free time? You yes. know, like, what do you, when you, when you have nothing going on, what are you like, oh, let me get up and, and do this? Or what do you, what, what pushes you out of bed? What encourages you? And if it's not something that's aligned with this business, it might be something that, you, you, you know, reconsider. mismatch. Right? Yes. <laughs> yes. I know that you even said earlier that it was something you and your husband were already doing. And it was something that you could envision in your future with your kids. And mm -hmm. so for some of you who are processing is, is what I'm currently doing, like my passion point, if it's a struggle for you to even engage in it mm -hmm. <laughs> and you cannot see yourself in the future with it, that is a good clue <laughs> that you may not be in the space that is for you. Because I agree with her and just you're willing to do what you got to do and it's really your passion point. Yes. It just comes. You can't see. You can't see not doing it. So y'all stay right here. We're going to come back and have her share a bit about some of her greatest victories in this passion move that she got going on. We did just hear her say that she left her full time. You're going to do this yes. full time now? So yes, congrats to you. And I know that's a kind of like, girl, I'm used to hitting my paycheck, right? But, but man, yes. we'll come back and have you share a bit about that and then we'll go from there. Y'all keep it right here on the amazing 102.5 FM.